What's going on boys and girls, it's Muntish Gaming here again and welcome back to my channel. Today we're over on the VS PvP servers and we have a shit ton of farming to do. We need heaps of polymer, heaps of metal, heaps of gunpowder, just heaps of everything. Um, I tamed up another anglerfish, unfortunately our last one died. Well, two of our last, no, three of our last ones died. Yeah, anyway, these weren't on footage, um, but I've gone ahead, tamed another one, so I've locked down the pearls. We've got heaps of silica pearls for electronics, for turrets, and all that other stuff. Um, but yet, in this episode, um, I'm aiming to get one or two indie forges, a couple chem benches, a uh, shit ton of turrets, shit ton of bullets, vaults, you name it. We're going to try and get as much done in the farming base as possible, as much as possible, so then we can start on the... Uh, on the main base. Anyway, I'm going to start rambling. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the episode. Okay, just uh, finished making up a couple turrets. Um, and I'm still not level 80 yet, so I can't make an indie forge. So I'm going to make up a uh, turret tower or two and chuck up some turrets just so that we can get a bit more protection up here. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will get me to 80. I think that's what I need for an indie forge, is it? Let's just double check that. Where is it? Oh yeah, level 80. Alright, so not too far away. Anyway, I'll craft up some building materials and then hopefully we can get 80. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the first turret tower here. Yeah, I think this should be a good spot. And I want it all square with the base, so this is what I'm doing. I can't actually place a foundation here, so I'm going to have to raise it. To do that, all you need to do is just chuck two walls here, just like that. Then a ceiling out. Like that. And then, I don't actually have two pillars, which is unfortunate. But yeah, you just put one pillar there, and then, then you just put another pillar here. And that should give you a higher snap point here, just like that. Beautiful. Is it going to place? Just like that. Excellent. Alright, can I actually go out further? Okay, doesn't look like I can put a foundation there because it is um, just play, can't play structure. It's not actually obstructed. That's not a problem. So we're just going to build up the turret tower here. And yeah, I reckon it's going to look pretty good. All right, there we go. There's the tower and the fog is set in. The famous island's fucking fog. Uh, but now we're going to chuck down the hatch frames. I'm not too sure how I want to do these. Um... I guess I will do it off the top. Yeah, let's just do that. So we'll go out. Should I go like that? Like this. Hmm. Decisions, guys. Very important, this. Very, very important. Yeah, I think I might put it like that. Yeah, put the first one like that. And then the second one can be like this. That. Then this one can be like this. Then the last one is like that. Beautiful. All right. That's that part done. Now on to the lower... Oh, Jesus. Lag. Oh my fucking god, I just teleported to the ground. Oh my fucking god, I just teleported to the ground. Alright, now let's chuck down a second layer. Not too sure where I want to put it. Maybe four down from the top. Alright, I think I'm going to put the second layer here so that it's just a little bit over the forge so that we can have some more turrets. I'm hoping that we can hang them over the next forge so that they stick down over the forge and they shoot into the crafting area. There we go, the top level of the turret tower is done. Just going to leave it like this for now, we're a bit bare on the turrets so just going to spread them around to all the other turret towers that we're going to be building. I think we're planning on making five I think. Um, we'll have to see once we put up a couple more, the spacing and all that. So someone in the previous video commented to go and hit up the swamp cave with some frogs and while I was going around looking for beaver dams for CP, 
I actually found a 140 frog. I think this is it here. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to tame this up. Pretty awesome that I actually found this. Um, I'm going to tame it up. And I think everyone else is going to tame one as well. And we're just going to run the uh, cave all together. Can I even pick these? Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're all going to tame one. And then hopefully we can hit up this swamp um, tonight sometime. I've actually got a journeyman saddle here. So that's pretty sick. I got that from one of the drops. So yeah, anyway, I'll cut back once it's tamed up. And then we can see what stats we got. There we go. Beasel Buffo is tamed. These are going to be the fastest tames ever. Um, let's chuck this on. 313 damage. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I think I'll just pump everything into health. There we go. Second frog is tamed up. Let's check out the post-tame stats. 1.8. Okay, so the damage is lower. The stamina is higher. And I think the health's about the same. But I think that's pretty good overall. We're over here now at the swamp cave. Just going to pick up a note before we go in so that we get some fucking juicy XP. Let's go boys. Oh, it looks nice in here actually. Oh no! Oh shit, no, no! I, whoa, okay. Everything's dying. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh oh, retard alert! Retard Holy alert, shit! Class. Back at base. Didn't actually even finish the whole cave. Um, because all of our tanks broke to the centipede fucking things. Um, but yeah. Here's all the pace we got. It's about 10k. So, really happy with that. I also got, uh, like, four levels, I think. So, or well, three levels. That's fucking awesome. So I can now finally make any forges, chem benches... Um, and just a little bit closer to the industrial cooking pot uh, and all that other good stuff. So really happy with that. Now I'm going to head over, get some more pearls so we can get those electronics and uh, start making some more turrets. After that cave run, came back with all the paste, got some oil, got the levels. Now we can finally make our second indie forge. Fucking beautiful. Let's turn that bad boy off. Now let's place... The beast. Let's chuck it down. Beautiful. There we go. Second Indie Forge. Four to go. Just placing down the last two turrets that we have crafted. Turn this bad boy on. And the last one goes right here somewhere. There. Come on, snap. There we go. Obviously, we're lacking bullets, um, but there's no one else online to farm with me, so there we go. I've got four completed turret towers. Well, they're actually not completed because they have the second rows on them that um, have no turrets. This actually doesn't have the second row hatch frames, and that one over there needs more turrets. So, yeah, just waiting for someone to hop on so we can farm some metal. Um, I'm probably going to try and farm some gunpowder solo uh, so we can fill these up with bullets. Um, but, yeah, there we have it. Those are the turrets there. They're pretty much covering all of the uh, crafting area. Really liking this. It's really, really fortified now. Um, and it's going to be more fortified once we get some more uh, turrets up today. So, yeah, really excited about that. Just finished an organic poly run with the Pelagornis that uh, six tamed up. And we're going to craft up another Indie Forge. I think we have enough here. Yeah, we do. All right, let's just chuck some more poly in. Oh, <laughs> we need to take some metal out, it seems. All right, just finished an organic poly run, and we have enough now for another Indie Forge. So let's craft this up. Beautiful. There we go. All right, so I think we need to uh, craft up a chem bench now uh, before we place this. So let's get that done. Crafting up the chem bench. There we go, that's down. And now we need to chuck down the fabricator and another smithy. Beautiful, awesome. This is looking really good now. We actually look like an alpha tribe. All right, back to farming. 
Just got back from a poly run and filled up this snail with a bunch of organic poly, got about 1300 I think it was. Not that much, but enough for what we need. Uh, firstly, we're going to be making some more vaults and then we're going to uh, make another chem bench so we can complete this side of the crafting area. And then the rest will go into turrets. Uh, I think we have enough to make about 60 or 70 turrets, something like that. Uh, but anyway, I'll cut back once uh, we're finished crafting everything out and then we can place it. Finish crafting up everything. Got three volts, chem bench, and we got these turrets, 16. And then we have turrets in here as well. No, we don't. Where are they? Where did I put them? Uh, in here? Nope. Here? Nope. What the heck? What the heck? Is it in here? There we go. Had a heart attack there for a moment. 49 plus 16, I think it was, so that's 55. Wait, is it? No, 65. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you got 65 turrets, a chem bench, and three volts. So I'm going to chuck down the chem bench, and I think I need to make a fabricator as well. All right, chuck down the chem bench here. Now the fabricator. All right, and there's a the fabricator. Oh, beautiful. Would you look at that? One side complete. Actually, I need to chuck a rail up there. Oh, beautiful. It's looking good, boys. It's looking good. All right, on to the turret placement. There we go. Finished two rows on each of the turret towers now. They're looking pretty mean. I don't think anyone's going to be raiding our farm base anytime soon, uh, unless they have some crazy stegos or something they can drop, but even then I think they will get torn up. Um, but I think the future plan uh, to further fortify this is that we're going to put pillars up from each of these turret towers and then run cables up and then we'll have like kind of like sky towers with a uh, couple turrets on them just to prevent uh, people from coming in on quetzes and dropping stegos in from, you know, quite lower so they'll have to go up really high if they want to drop a stego and then then the stego is going to take a lot of fall damage and just die okay so here we are so far just wanted to give you a bit of an update on the farm base as you guys saw earlier all the turret towers have two layers on them now so they're looking pretty nasty over here we got some internals these don't have any uh any bullets yet just yet i've got uh, three forges filling up with wood. You're going to turn those into charcoal. Bam, bam, and bam a lamb. Um, over here we got the fence up. Got the three chem benches, three smithies, and four fabricators. So we can go ham on pretty much everything. Um, got our snail here. Snail here. Got the snail here with some polymer in it. I uh, don't really have anything to use it on. Um, and then over here we have the temporary diner pen so that people can't grief us. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with the progress so far. Dropped a couple more vaults so we can start filling those up with uh, shit. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with the progress so far. Uh, we will be able to start building the base very soon. Probably tonight when everyone gets on. It's only just me at the moment. Uh, it's been me just for the today. So yeah, anyway. We're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Really happy with the progress that we made over this episode. Heaps of building done. We're almost done with the crafting area, but I think we might even just stop at three forges for now and then start on the main base. I'm not too sure yet, um, but yeah, we're almost there, guys. We can almost start on the main base, start on the breeding pen, start taming up a shit ton of dinos, and we can start breeding those raiding dinos and start on the raids. Honestly, I know some of you were asking in the last video if we can start raiding and all that. I don't really want to. I actually want people to build up so then it's more entertaining. There's more loot. It's a lot more difficult. I don't want to be blowing into stone bases, wood bases, bases with no turrets and stuff like that. That's no fun. I mean, for you guys and for us. So, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, see you guys in the next episode. Stay awesome. Peace.